Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, um, if you guys have been following along, we've installed Active Directory, uh, showed you guys how to make the organizational unit structure here and why I've done it this way. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to make users and, you know, just kind of assign them into their proper OUs here and also make a you know the default passwords and the uh, password policies on them okay so we're gonna start off with the uh, IT department give them a management employee so he's here under company company headquarters uh, information technology okay so you can either just click on it and then double click in here or just expand the tree and go to management and then once you click on management you come over here to the right side of the window and you right click you go new and you just hit user okay so now you just make your user and give him a login name the login name is what he's going to use to log into the domain to give him his permissions and just like when you log into your computer you have you've given it a name well this is the same thing so I'm gonna give it P Saint Onge hit next and I'm gonna give it a password and I'm gonna hit finish and you're gonna notice here that I'm gonna get a error because of the password doesn't meet the minimum system requirements or complexity so I'm just gonna hit cancel here and I'm gonna show you how to fix that uh, what that is is because you you've just created a domain and a domain controller the domain controller is like your PC where this resides okay you can have backup domain controllers as you see here so you can set up a server somewhere else and you know have that set up like you can have this other uh, organizational unit for the other city they might have a domain controller there but that's in a lot further tutorials so for now to change that password policy you guys might be thinking you know you can go to GP edit dot uh, msc but that only lets you change the policies for the computer so just to show you sorry about that so you're in your group policy object editor so you want to change the password policy for the computer so it's a windows setting and security you want to go to account policies and then password and you're going to notice these little server looking icons here and when you double click you can't you can't modify any of the changes on anything in here because the password policy is a uh, domain wide policy not just this computer so to change that you want to go to administrative tools and then click here to domain security policy and then you're gonna see this pop up and it's the same uh, tree so you hit account policies and then password policies and here's where you change your settings sorry man alright so <clears throat> enforce policy history 10 so that means for the next 10 passwords that they create every 25 or 30 days they can't use that same password 10 times so on the 11th password they can reuse their first password if they wish and maximum password age means the password they create they have to change no later than 30 days from the date that it was created and minimum password age is you want to warn them say like five days before the 30 days they'll get the notification would you like to change your password 
you know, most people hit no, no, no. But on the 30th day, they cannot log in until that password's changed. And then the minimum password length is six characters, which means obviously you have to have six characters in your password. You know, if you have five, you just won't be able to make the password. So six. And again, you can change this. Just double click on them. Up, down arrows. Hit apply. Okay. And then password must meet complexity requirements. That's the reason why I couldn't make the password. Because I didn't give him a capital or a, a, a number or a symbol to meet complexity it has to meet all these standards here and it has to include uh, three different characters so you need a capital a lowercase a number or a symbol so three out of those four have to be implemented in your password so I'm just gonna disable this for these tutorials so I'm just gonna hit disable and hit apply so now that takes precedence over the whole domain control. Okay, so now we can go back into there. Users and computers, Active Directory. And we can go back to where we wanted to create the user in the management position for the IT department of company headquarters in the technology domain. Going to right click over here in the right pane and hit new user and then just repeat that first process okay and then hit next and then just enter in the password user must change password at next login no user cannot change password that's correct so I don't want this password to I don't want the user to be able to change his password right now. Just when the time comes up. Okay. Hit next. Now hit finish. And now I have my user created. Now we can get into more detail about the users. But we're going to get to that in just a few videos on setting up users and everything. So in this next video I'm going to show you how to uh, join a computer to the domain. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Thanks.